Good morning, good morning. It's Susie with Create Your Canvas. Just popping on here this this Monday morning. Um, yes, it is Monday morning. <laughs> Sorry. Um, anyway, uh, Monday morning we are going to paint today. Uh, I dug out. I have, um, for some reason, I have several more for September. I'm not really sure why, but that's okay. Anyway, so this is the cute little cow that we're gonna do. Um, so I'm not sure where my video feed is. There it is, all right. Okay, so I think he's pretty cute. Uh, I don't think it's a cow, I think it's a calf. A little calf. Um, so anyway, yeah, we're gonna get started because um, I have a, a pretty big day today, so. Um, Take a deep breath, just let, breathe in goodness and let out all the bad. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna flip my camera. We're gonna get started. Um, I hope you had a great, great, great weekend and looking forward to being with you this morning. All right, so here we go. All right. Let's make sure everything is good to go. It is. All right. So I'm going to move this for just a second. Okay. So you see your cow. And we're just going to color on their back. Just like I do all the time. Just kind of color enough. Um, I'm using my woodless graphite pencil. All right. So we're going to put him here. I'm going to actually move him over a little because I can hand draw that. Okay. Because I think I want him closer to the middle. Okay. And then my pencil is. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. All right. So I'm going to draw in my little cow. I think it's a calf. <laughs> I think I keep saying that. Um. Remember, draw in as much or as little as you need. Sneeze here in a second. Um, okay, I'm gonna kind of draw in this little end. Today is my test for my new internet, so hopefully all goes well. So let me know if it's skipping, hesitating, whatever it does with the other one. Because this is upstairs at the house. Might need to do the whole add on thing that's like another box up here or something. I don't know. I don't really understand the whole thing, so. Alright, where are we at? I think that's pretty good. Here's a little darkness. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, so, here we go. Alright, so I have that. I'm going to set this over here. morning Aunt Judy. Okie doke. So I'm going to put this here so y'all can see what I'm doing. Um, perfect. All right. Now um, I cleaned all this up. Okay. So I'm going to add, I don't think I need blue, but I think I'm actually, I think I might use a little blue. Um, I'll probably need red. Um, I am going to use black today. I'll use a little white, but um, not too much. Green, brown, maybe a smidgen of brown. And I doubt yellow, but I'm gonna put water in yellow. Okay, so here we go. Now, if you want, you can always do your background. Um, you can do it first. I'm gonna actually, I think I'm going to, I'm gonna do kind of gray, so I'm gonna put a little black there 
picked up a little white. You don't have to add white. You can actually just use a little bit more water than you normally would, and it'll look gray because there's not as much pigment. Okay, so I'm just gonna plop this in. See, I just kind of come in here and plop, plop, plop. It's no rhyme or reason. You're just kind of um, throwing it in, okay? So don't, don't fuss over the background, okay? Because it's not about the background. It's about your little cow, your calf. Sorry, I always like to just, you know, call it a cow. Okay, so there we go. Now, I'm going to take some more black. Because remember, our cow is black and white. See how? And really in watercolor, this is the absence of color. Okay. Actually, it would have been really cool. This would have been a good, good, good lesson with the other stuff that I have, but I forgot. I'm sorry. My brain is tired. My brain is tired. How's that sound? My brain is tired. Yes, I like that. Okay, I'm just taking in some black where my black is. Okay, so like this big piece here, this is white, but I'm going to put a little black on this edge, even though it's really not there, just because it makes my little cow stand out better. Okay, so I'm just kind of plopping in the color. Be careful of the his eye. Okay, just kind of stick it in. You don't, it doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, it is it is supposed to help you to relax and just um, start your day off on more of a positive note and just to focus, okay? So we're just throwing in where, like this is the pink, so that's pink. So all this out here is dark, okay? Remember, we're gonna go back and make the dark darker and we'll add in some pinks and all kinds of fun stuff okay so we're not stressing that's kind of what I'm saying this right here this is white this is a white spot you can always do different levels of dark too so that you can of the black so that you can see just plop it in no worries please don't Life is so stressful all by itself. You do not need to stress right now. So is this video okay? I know the other day it was kind of, there was this noise and um, all kinds of stuff. I really need to hook up my other camera, the camera view and all kinds of stuff. But um, it's kind of been not so great in my world, so. Um, anyway, all right, so let's see. That's not very loud. Okay, I'll try to talk louder because I don't know why it's not loud. All right, so I'm going to take a little blue and a little black. All right, so I'm going to do that. So it's nice and blueish black. I don't know if you've ever noticed, but like when things are really black, and like the light hits it, a lot of times there's like a blue cast to it or some other cast. So we're gonna use this blue-ish black in through here. And we're going to bring it in, okay? If it gets too blue, just touch a little more black. The cool thing about black is that it can absorb anything, okay? I'm gonna just take the tip of my paintbrush and I'm kind of just doing little lines. It takes a little bit longer, but when you do it, you get like these little hair-like things. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a little black. I'm gonna water it down. Yeah, Judy, does that is it louder now that I'm talking louder? I will try to talk louder. Okay, just let me know. I'm trying to watch the comments. <laughs> There's still that buzzing. Oh, okay. 
I don't know what the buzzing is. It is so quiet up here. It's kind of scary. Um, not really scary, but you know what I mean. I'll work on it. I promise. Um, probably not today, but I will work on it. Okay, so I'm going to put some of this black in here and use the tip of your paintbrush to kind of pull some of this in to make it look jagged like hair. See how I just do like little, little, little here. Little dinky lines and you can make it look like I mean, not really like hair, hair, but it's an impression. This is an eyelash. Okay. So just little, little lines, just little lines so that it's just not straight. Okay. Super simple. Okay. Don't overthink it. We do not need to overthink anything right now. It is just not... You just don't need to overthink anything, okay? Trust me. Okay, and then we're gonna put, um, I'm gonna get more black here because the more pigment that you have, the darker it gets. And um, that's what we want down underneath his eyes, okay? See how he is nice and dark in here and then here is a highlight, so it's a little bit lighter and here's a highlight. Um, so you're gonna put this down in here Okay, and he's pretty dark everywhere. We're gonna kind of stick this in. All right, I'm gonna put this in here, but then what I wanna do is water it down some so that I can blend this in together. So that this down here stays nice and dark. But this up here, we're gonna keep the water in there to keep it, um, uh, like a highlight, okay? And then this blue down here, we're gonna, it's just the tip of my brush and I'm just kind of gently, I'm not like super rubbing it in because you don't want it to um, hurt your paper but watercolor paper tends to be able to take a little bit more of the scrubbing just because it's heavier weight. Okay, and you don't have to, remember, you do not have to follow this picture exact, okay? This picture is, is your template, okay? So if you get going and you're like, you know, I, I really like the cow, but I'm feeling like maybe he has a little less white. Or, you know, I feel like maybe, I don't know. I mean, you can even add color if you want. Um, totally up to you. I want you to use this time as a time to just um, unwind and have fun. Oops, see, I got white. All right, so I'm gonna take this pinkish color, kind of put some pinky in here. He's got some pink up in here, a little pink down in here. Um, remember, it is yours. I want you to own this, just make it yours. Okay, see? All right, so now we're gonna add some details in just to make him start to really, really pop out. There is his little, I guess it's a nostril. Oops, it's wet. His little nostril or something that's here. I must have water in my brush. <laughs> okay, we'll try this again. So he has a nostril here, a nostril here. Got a nice eye. Okay. 
remember, we can just start to add in little things that you like. Because the, the dark um, pulls things to the back. Remember when it's really, really dark, like the cow is all black, okay? But this black and this black is like so much more black, more intense black than this. It's really not, more than likely, it's just the lighting. But, um, you know, um, you have to be able to improvise and have a little fun. Okay, now, remember, it's not about that, you know, it's amazing and you're going to put this in some um, massive art show or anything like that. So just have fun. Relax. Just let your mind go. Like this right here is actually his face. So you have to carve out his face a little bit. So this back here is darker because it's behind his head. This is his neck where he's kind of turned to look at us. Okay, we're gonna add a little more red just because I really want the inside of his ear to be a little more pink. Maybe there's a little pink over here. There's this little bit of pink in through here. Okay, and then I'm gonna take, wash my brush off. I'm just gonna take a little water just to tone that down because I don't want it to resemble like, oh my gosh, he's bleeding. Okay, we don't want that. So I'm just kind of touching to allow him to blend a little bit. I'm gonna take some white. I don't know if this will work, quite honestly. I'm gonna put white up here, but since I have different colors, it's gonna be a little different, but it's all good. It's all good. No worries. Okay, so you're just adding some of that in. Okay, now, I really like this blue. Um, so I'm gonna add a little of it out here. There we go. See how it just kind of changes it a little bit? I like it. What do you think? All right. One couple more details since I don't want to get the Sharpie out. I'm going to take um, this. And I don't know if you can, you can't probably see my fingers, but what I'm doing is I spin the brush like this. It's like here I spin the brush because it makes sure it guarantees that my point. Okay. And then I'm going to add in a little bit more colors down in here. Okay, because I really want to make sure that the little head, it's really pops out. So I'm going to add a little bit up in here. We'll put a couple little dots, just to like dots to make it look. I didn't like how much I put there, so I'm just taking some water, drying it off, and pulling that color back up. Ta-da! Okay, there we go. Okay, um, could be a she, I guess. Who knows? Anyway, then I will just a smidgen of white acrylic paint with a really dinky point. I'm just taking just a smidge and adding in a little bit there. What do you think? I think I like it. <clears throat> um, yeah, so we kind of took our cute little picture and made him into our painting. All right. Either 
way, I, I really do have everything 95% set up to do the other camera view. Um, I'm just, I'm having some issues with some feedback and um, life has just not been uh, exactly uh, easy for me to, to work on all this stuff. So um, anyway, thank you all for uh, watching today. I'm so sorry. <laughs> It's an emotional week. So um, thank you all for watching me. And I hope that you have enjoyed watching Paint the Cow, the Calf, the Calf. Um, I hope you get to paint one yourself or just paint anything. I would love to see whatever you're working on. Just post it to my Facebook page. Um, either if you're friends with me on my personal one, you can. But uh, also the Create Your Canvas one. Um, I would love to see what you're working on. It makes my heart smile every time I see all of you just trying something new, whether it's um, watercolors or a sketch or anything. It doesn't have to be um, what we are working on exactly right now. So anyway, I look forward to painting with all of my um, subscription box people um, Thursday and Friday, um, I think. Uh, I'll have to, I'm gonna post in there. Um, but anyway, so I love you too, Aunt Judy. Um, so anyway, make your day great today. I thank you, thank you, thank you for um, coming on and sharing this time with me. So I hope you have an amazing week and I will see all of you um, in Facebook world um, next Monday, since that's when I do lives here. But I also have a sneak peek, which I'm hoping they get here today. Those cute little gnomes with the little head, uh, the tree. Um, yes, I'll be posting about that as soon as they arrive. They are scheduled to be here today. Yay. All right. You guys have a wonderful day and God bless. Bye-bye.